Hi, I'm Jacob Beningo. I'd like to welcome you to my overview of the Pi Board hardware from MicroPython.org. The Pi Board is a critical development kit component that any developer interested in writing MicroPython code is going to want to have on their workbench. Now, MicroPython is a lean and efficient port of the Python 3 programming language. It's designed to run in a resource constrained environment on a microcontroller. Now, the Pi Board at its core is based on an ARM Cortex M4 microcontroller. It has a hardware floating point unit. It's running at 168 megahertz, has one megabyte of flash space, and 192 kilobytes of RAM. It's a very powerful microcontroller. The actual flavor is a STM32 F405 microcontroller. Now, the Pi Board itself has a couple of components that any developer is going to want to be aware of. The first is that it has a programmable user button. This is just a user button that's tied to a GPIO line that can be accessed through the PYB library, which is a library that helps abstract out the hardware of the microcontroller and the, comp the external components that are on the Pi board and allows the developer instead to focus on their own application code. So all interactions with peripherals and external components are done through this PYB class. Now, in addition to the user button, we also have a hard reset button that we can use as developers when something goes wrong and we just want to completely do a hard reset of the system. So keep that one in mind. I've occasionally had to use it, uh, but for the most part, it's one that we can don't want to use too much. Now, the Pi board also has four LEDs on board. These are all user programmable, connected to GPIOs, easily accessible uh, through the PYB library using the LED methods that are exposed there through that interface. The board also has on board an accelerometer, so we can get XYZ data. This is done through a I squared C bus that is connected to the microcontroller. In addition to the user button, the accelerometer, and the LEDs, the Pi board also has the ability to add external storage to the device through a micro SD card slot. Connecting an SD card through that external st storage slot will allow you to put more scripts on board uh, on the SD card. It will also allow you to start storing uh, data. You can also do data logging as well. Now, most of the interactions with the Pi board are done through this USB micro AB connector. Connecting the USB cable to this connector and plugging it into a computer, we can then open up a terminal and gain access to the standard Python terminal. We can then experiment with the, with the Pi board, import the PYB library, and then start to play with the different peripherals and external devices that are on the development kit. Now, this ARM Cortex M4 part is very powerful and has quite a few different peripherals on board. It actually has five different UARTs on board, as you can see here specified on, in the, uh, the red boxes. It has over 12 ADC channels, as you can see here on these different external pins. We also have two SPI interfaces, SPI 1 and 2, two I squared C interfaces, in addition to a digital to analog converter, and eight onboard timers. These timers can be configured to generate PWM outputs as well. There are also two CAN channels on board. All in all, it's a very powerful microcontroller. I've recently developed a simple cooperative scheduler that does a really good job of meeting its real-time requirements using the onboard ARM interrupt controller to handle any hard real-time requirements. Using MicroPython, you can still get a real-time response out of a software system. Now the interesting thing, once again, this Pi board is fully configured to work with MicroPython right out of the box. It costs about $45 US dollars that is, and can be purchased from uh, MicroPython.org. Real cool development kit. MicroPython is something that you're interested in. I highly recommend that you purchase the development kit and then check out some of the other resources I have on my website at www.beningo.com that will help you get up and running playing with uh, MicroPython. Thanks for your time and attention. I greatly appreciate it and look forward to talking with you again soon.